Today we're installing a water tank and a pressure washer on the back of my truck. I need this remote setup because I have a couple of big projects where I don't have access to electricity or water. I'm using the Grand Falls Pressure Washer by Giraffe Tools. I really like it because it has 100 feet of retractable hose and a maximum pressure of up to 2200 PSI. It's super powerful, has a bunch of great nozzles that come with it, and was really easy to install. I will go over more product information at the end of the video, but for now, let me show you how I transform my truck into a mobile pressure washer. Typically, this pressure washer is just connected to your standard garden hose, but I don't have water yet on my property, so I got a 35-gallon water tank and cut some tube steel to serve as supports that can bolt to the rack of my truck. I cut the ends at an angle so they could easily access both the bolts to the rack and slide a ratchet strap through the tube steel that secures the water tank. I don't want those ratchet straps to fray into sharp steel, so I got to test out my new Ryobi little mini belt sander. It's really great for smoothing out material in hard to reach places. The tank has these grooves in it that allow me to strap it right to the tube steel. The rack of my truck already has slots cut into it, so it was really easy just to bolt this whole contraption on. Typically the pressure washer just mounts to a wall and it comes with screws and this mounting plate. But I just cut a piece of angle steel and drilled a couple of holes so that I can bolt the mounting plate to my truck rack. I connected a short garden hose to the water tank and then to the pressure washer itself. This pressure washer came with all the fittings that I needed to set everything up. For power I'm using my Goal Zero Yeti 3000. I have a solar panel on my truck that I can use to power up this battery pack. I plugged in the pressure washer and connected the spray nozzle. This tool has a lot of things that I like. By combining the pressure washer and the hose reel, I'm able to save space, but still have 100 feet of retractable hose. That hose is kink proof and uses a unique ceramic technology in the G guiding system to ensure its prolonged life. And as I said before, it's really powerful with a max 2200 PSI and 2.1 gallons per minute water flow. I tested it out on a piece of plywood and not only did it remove the dirt on it, it blew up the wood grain. It comes with four different quick connect nozzles as well as a soap bottle if you want to add some cleaning products to your pressure washing. There's a two year quality warranty and an 1800 watt motor. I have a lot of land out here in the desert and things sure do get dusty. So this is a super handy addition to my truck that I can add or remove in just minutes. This is my first time working with giraffe tools. I was very impressed with the pressure washer. And if you're interested in learning more, be sure to check out the links in the description box below. When I'm not using it on my truck, I just install it on the wall of my outdoor workshop. The screws you need come right with the pressure washer itself. It does need to be plugged into an electrical outlet, so either use an extension cord or install it in a place where you have an outdoor outlet nearby. It connects with a standard garden hose, and the pressure washer itself has 100 feet of retractable, non-kinking hose. I like to use it for cleaning off concrete forms. It can blast right through silicone caulk and concrete residue that's stuck onto these pieces of melamine. I use a lot of buckets around the workshop to mix everything from epoxy, concrete, or even silicone. And pressure washing is a great way to bring the buckets back towards new. Cleaning decks and patios is a more typical application. And I like to use the 25 degree nozzle that comes with this for this application. All right, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and check the links in the description. Bye.